Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, well, we've we've known each other since we were nine. We were in the same school, same class, same age. Um, small community, all through school, and so we were friends. You know, by the time we were. 11, 12, well, you didn't 13, start playing 14. guitar until you were 14, right? Yeah, maybe 14. And then we didn't really, we weren't singing. Uh, we, we were, we knew that we were into different music. Well, different from well, other people, different from similar other people. to each other. Similar to each other, we were into different music, yeah, like um, punk music and alternative or whatever, whatever it was back at that time. <laughs> We've been doing this for a long time, almost, almost, almost 20, 20 years. years. And, and so, tour isn't quite as exciting as it used to be. <laughs> you know, we, like you said, we have kids at home and... People we miss and yeah. sometimes, I think every time I have to go to an airport, I think I lose <laughs> yeah. a little, airport another tour, yeah. chunk of my soul gets burned away. That's and, the worst uh, part of it, I think, the travel, the air air travel but once we get here especially to Spain it's, it's always it's always very nice uh, it's so yeah the people are so warm and it's, yeah. it's very good Don't look at the camera. drums and guns is more desperate and maybe trying to say something to a crowd, you know, and that can be tricky and, and full of lies and regret sometimes, so. Um, now, they come on, we, yeah, as we were writing new songs, it, it definitely felt like the new songs were more intimate and more one person to another person or love songs even. Um, yeah, maybe it's, Swings more, more hopeful. I think when you come to, and you bring it live to a club and to people, it's you know it's in the moment, and I think there's an energy. And there's the connection, just because it's it's now. That's the unique, and that's what's kind of like he said before. That's kind of what's kept us going all these years is the the connection with the audience. And yeah, it feels a little more true. Sometimes it will remind you know it'll surprise you or kick you a little bit just to remind you you know who you are, put you in your place a little bit better, you know. How it humbles you. Those those moments are very subtle and very soft and sacred. You know, I'm not I'm not sure I can think of any example where it's. I mean, it can be overwhelming a little bit, but I, I don't know that it's ever been drastic. You know, and the sky doesn't open up or anything like that. But the still the still small voice speaks to you from time to time and just to assure you that you're listening in the right place. You know. Music is very safe right now, or a lot, a lot of it is. 
I'm not saying that we are lazy or that we don't want to do anything or that our generation is too old or something. But maybe but we're, yeah, we're a little more uh, resigned to the... We're a little more resigned. We're we're not... To the trends and to the what what's happening. I, I don't know, but I guess I mean, we're just, we're, we just don't get as worked up flooded. about it. We're more flooded with, with uh, yin and yang. When you're young, you see only one side and sometimes... Sometimes that's what it takes. That's what it takes. Seeing that to, one side. To Whereas see. the more you live, the more gray it the becomes. Gray Less life black becomes. and white, and more gray. Yeah, the young. What do, what will the young people do? I don't know. They need to make something very, very, very loud. Because we're all, are we bored of being shocked? Is it impossible to shock anymore? Has everything been done? Maybe. Has everything been done? We, we, filmed, we filmed the guy cutting off his penis and eating it. We've seen it all. We've seen, <laughs> seen it all. What's left? Yeah, hope. Yeah. Let's hope we don't see that yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope we don't have that. Tonight the monkey died. Tonight you will be.